Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Pav Bambra here for PSB Sports and on the line with me from America I've got uh, hard hitting heavyweight Mr Avery Gibson. Avery, thank you so much for, for talking to me, how are you? I'm doing pretty good, how about you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good, it's been a pretty uh, pretty uh, hot, hot day over here in the UK, so um, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So, uh, right. so um, Avery, firstly, um, you you have you've had around uh, sixteen fights, I uh, believe. So, uh, Avery, I was just wondering, yeah. uh, how did you actually get into boxing? What was your motivation to 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 come into the into the sport of boxing? Okay, um, I started boxing when I was like in two thousand ten, when I was like twenty seven years old. Sure. So, um, I just use it as a, I came into it as a, like a stress relief, like um, just from work or just a different type of fitness, you know, I never tried it before, and one of my friends said there was a local boxing gym like three or four miles from my work, so I just stepped in the gym and started there, I never thought I would be a fighter, I played uh, American football in college, sure. at NC State, so I I've always been a basketball and football player. Right. So I didn't start until almost like a little over six years ago when I started boxing. Mm hmm Okay, sounds good. So, uh, Avery, I was looking at your um, record on BoxRec, and I know you've got you've got seven wins, four draws, and you've got f five losses, which obviously when, when, when the people would... When the people look at the losses, you know, some people might just might just turn away immediately, but... I went into your losses bit by bit to find that actually that, you know, most of your defeats have either become on split decisions or unanimous decisions. So when you have lost, you, you haven't been beaten badly. You've sort of lost by, you know, a nick or a thread. And, you know, after you've just explained to me, you've only been boxing for six years. So you're still learning in the game. Is that fair to say? Yes. And uh, plus, if you look at my record... I fought four Olympians right. already. And then uh, most of the time, outside of two fights, I'm either going into someone's own country yep. or their backyard or they're, by, they're promoting somebody. Because most of the people I've won are still um, are supposedly lost to, it was all by decision, they're still undefeated. Sure, exactly. And then, uh, um, I even fought, you know, on some of the records, I did a WSB fight, actually against the uh, 2016 silver medalist, Joe Joyce. Wow. I fought in the UK uh, for the uh, USA Knockouts back in uh, 2013 on wow. two days' notice to just fly over there, and I fought him in the World Series about to, yeah, he won the decision. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he got, I got robbed or nothing. But yeah, so I've been throwing in there with everyone since from uh, since I started boxing in 27. I have no manager, no promoter, no nothing. So I just get calls, and if it's the right call or right money, I take the fight if I'm in shape. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, Avery, also, I believe you've got a fight scheduled. Is his name um, Bernardo Marquez? Is that correct? Yes, yes. Yeah, and he's uh, he's uh, relatively young in his career, career as well. Six wins, a draw and a loss. Um, he's also four guys yes. with, with good records. So, sort of, Avery, you have yourself and him, two relatively young, fresh, hungry fighters. And, you know, you guys are going to clash soon, so... What what sort of things are you hoping to implement against Bernardo? And also, what are you hoping to learn in that fight? Um, well, I've been on a pretty much role. Like, he's coming into my house as an opponent. Right. So, it'd be nice to... Um, he had to fight me against my crowd, not me going to his crowd. Right. And then I've, I've, I've gone on a couple, you know, little streak going on. I just got out of camp with Deontay Wilder for his camps. So just keep the momentum going so I can build up some uh, wins. And he'll be a good test 
and a good name on my resume to get bigger fights um, in the upcoming year. Sure, um, sounds good, Avery. And Avery, um, I'm going to move on now to the to the world heavyweight scene, as they say. Recently, uh, I think the, yes. past, the past weekend, your fellow countryman Jarrell Big Baby Miller, uh, he he defeated F uh, Fred Cassie in a um, pretty good fashion, yes. and, and it it caused it caused yes. it caused a lot of shockwaves here in the UK because immediately after that fight, Avery, he called out Fury, Joshua, and Wilder. So, what did you make of uh, Jarrell Miller's performance, and what do you think about him? calling out um, the three heavyweight champions? Oh, um, he's a good talker. And he's a, he's been very successful boxing. He's a big guy. He's uh, almost like two, 300, I think. Like yeah. 296, they said he weighed in. He's a big guy. So uh, he's a big guy, very skilled. Uh, he, he His output is pretty good for someone that, Actually, very good for someone who weighs that much. Mm. Um, but um, as I looked into the um, his resume, he seemed to always be fighting real short fighters for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, like Fred Cassie, five eleven, then he fought some other guy two fights ago who was like five ten and stuff. And then I think uh, the three heavyweights he called out will give him very uh, bad matchup problems because all the heavyweights that are champs right now, Fury, Deontay, and Joshua are big, strong, young, and they are athletic, all of them, and they got punching power. So, you know, when when someone can sit there and hit you at the end of their um, the end of their range, yeah. you know, they don't have to come to you. You have to come to them to get in range. And then and, and them up three very in shape heavyweights that if you're carrying any extra weight, you know, you're going to get tired and wear down. Plus, him talking is putting his name out there so he'll get on the radar to fight one of those big guys. Only thing he's looking for is a shot. Yep. And, hey, once you get in the ring, anything can happen. But he's self-promoting himself pretty good that people are starting to notice him. Sure, sure, absolutely. I think you know w w over here when he when he uh, beat Fred Cassie, um, a fellow British heavyweight called Huey Fury, who's the cousin of Tyson Fury, beat him back in April um, to move to twenty and zero. So the British public were yeah. were aware of who Fred Cassie was, and before he fu uh, fought uh, Huey Fury, people were also aware of what a tough fight that would have been for Huey. So when Jarrell Miller beat him. And then called out notably Fury and Joshua as they're British. Everyone was like, "Wow, you know who is this guy, Jerome Miller, calling calling them out?" Because who knows in the future they could definitely fight Avery. Yeah, that'd be a good fight. He, he's a good fighter. Um, it'd be interesting. I think he needs like one more big fight against an established name to even think about. Uh, uh, a title shot because uh, for him to get a title shot right now is more risk than reward to any of those heavyweights because right. he hasn't beat no household name. Right, okay. I understand, I understand. And Avery, um, in, at the moment, in your opinion, we've got Fury holding two belts, Joshua, uh, IBF, and Deontay Wilder, WBC. Who do you think right now is the number one heavyweight in the world out of those three? Out of those three, I think... Uh, uh, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. I think uh, Deontay... Uh, <laughs> is the most athletic one. He hits the hardest. Right. I think Fury has the better skill set than the three. And I think um uh Joshua uh, like uh Joshua is like a blend between Fury and Deontay. Right, okay, interesting. 
Yes, he's got a, a good skill set with the, the the large amateur pedigree being an Olympic gold medalist, and he has great power. So, but if I pick who will win the fight amongst the three right now, yep. it will be Deontay. Very interesting. Um, I, I, you know, you you mentioned there a few things why about Deontay. You said he's very powerful, he's athletic. So, in your opinion, why do you think Deontay beats them all, Avery? Um, I think uh, Fury wouldn't be able to uh, keep Deontay off of him. Um, Fury can punch and he can box, but I watched the Valderman fight against uh, Fury. I don't know. I picked uh, Klitschko to win the first one, and Klitschko was in position a lot of times, but he wouldn't let his right hand go. Right. Like, it was like he was timid to get hit. So Fury did what he did and outboxed him. And um, what's his name? See, gunshot. Um, Klitschko seen gunshot like, he didn't want to let it go. It's like he couldn't fire off the punches no more. Absolutely. And then, but but Deontay's a fighter, so you, he, if Deontay's in range, he's gonna take those chances. He's a very excited fighter, and he's athletic, got a good defense, in shape, and very fast and rangy. Oh, uh, Joshua would to me would be the harder fight for Deontay. Because they're both strong, they're both big, they're both uh, athletic guys. And uh, I think Joshua is greater than Deontay, but you give Joshua a couple more fights, and he's like a freak of nature. Wow. In fact, Avery, it's funny you say that, because a lot of people in the UK are saying that... <clears throat> In their opinion, although they believe Joshua now is world-class and very good, a lot of people are saying that, give Joshua a few more fights and he's, he is going to be he is gonna be something else. He's going to be something really special. Is that, is that fair to say? Yes, yes. He's, he's, he's um, you know, he's, uh, I mean, for a guy with only, how many fights he got, like 16 he, or yeah, he's had 17? Seven, yeah, he's had 17 fights and 17 knockouts. Okay, with 17 fights and you look like that and you already, I mean, polished and you, I mean, you're still a young pro and a young guy and already have a uh, a world championship and a gold medal behind you, I mean, the sky's the limit, mm. you know, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to uh, really criticize something with 17. A guy with 17 fights just looking as impressive as he is already. I mean, you know, it took Deontay like 30-something fights to get that title. And Fury took him years. Joshua got it within four already. And, you know, hey, it's, it, it's going to be, it's, I think uh, it's going to be between him and uh, Deontay for who's going to reign supreme for the years to come. That's gonna be one hell of a fight when it happens. Absolutely, I uh, can't wait when when uh, when all, all three fight each other. It's it's gonna be something special for the fans. Yes, absolutely, Avery. I want to say thank you so much for t talking to me today. I wish you all the best, and um, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. This has been Pav Bamber here for PSP Sports with Avery Gibson. Thank you very much.